We're here at the National Cycling Centre. This is my place of work. This is where I come in every day. Got the doc, got physio. As you can see, this is the gym. Had a performance eating room. All right. Yeah, what I love about coming in here is that everything's under one roof and, and it's literally, you know, I've got the BMX track. You know, I deem to be one of the best facilities in the world next door. And then I come in here and I've got access to every single member of staff that you can imagine at my disposal. And then we've got the gym and I'm also, you know, obviously lucky to train with guys from other disciplines, so the track cycling guys, they'd, they'd be in the gym at the same time and yeah, as a whole it's a really good environment. Once you get to you know, sort of that real pointy end of BMX competition, you're obviously lifting a lot of weight in the gym and you're doing ideally good starts on the track and, and as an overall package, you know, your body is under extreme stress a lot of the time, so certainly for my longevity in the sport, you know, these are guys that are going to keep me in the sport for as long as possible. Second. Difficult decision to miss Argentina. That's a race that I, that I do really enjoy. You know, I wouldn't want to race 30 races a year and, and be you know, just a finals guy. I'd rather race five times a year and, and be in with a shot of winning. You know, I love racing here and I, I just want to go out and put on a good performance. Yesterday I was really, really pleased with how I performed. Everything was, was just going how I wanted. My starts looked great and they felt great. And then I woke up today and just a completely different ball game really. I can't put my finger on why, I just, you know, I've just been lethargic. Yeah, it's been a real battle for, for me to you know, get to the end of race day. We're on this road to Rio and we're getting closer and closer to the Olympics and what's to say I'm not going to feel like this at the Olympics. It wasn't actually, you know, solely about performance today, it was just trying to deliver the best that I could given the circumstances and how I felt. It was a race that I really had to work hard for and I think that some days you, you have those days at the track and you know, I'm, I'm really pleased I was able to put a performance together and, and stand at the top of the podium for, for the fourth consecutive year. For me, Papandar wasn't the best weekend. It was uh, probably the most disappointing race I've had in the last 12 months, but I'm looking forward to racing this weekend. This is obviously World Championships and the chance to wear the rainbow jersey. It's something that I look forward to every year and yeah, the last step before going to Rio for the Olympic Games. My body's not getting any younger and you know I'm having a lot more treatment and physio and massage and everything now than, than I did in my early days and basically wanted to have something at home that meant that I could sort of look after my body and do things away from the track that would basically stop me driving into the track just to get a bit of treatment. If we go around I've got my little bike corner, yeah just do any bike maintenance stuff. We have nothing cycling oriented in the house, we want it to be at home and cycling as a whole doesn't define us as individuals and we don't want to feel consumed by what we do. We both love what we do, but ultimately, when we come home, we want to be able to shut off and just be you know, sort of normal people. You know, this is perfect to have this out here and I've got a rainbow jersey on the, on the wall behind and you know, the plan is that we, you know, we will get other jerseys, like you know, Olympic jerseys. You know, jerseys of significance and, and bits of Sort of memorabilia of, of significance put on the wall but you know this is like this is the only place you'll find anything cycling and I think it's it's been really nice to be able to come out here and, and do the odd bit of I wouldn't call it training it's almost you know prehab and rehab related stuff. You know, we're only what 25 meters away from the house but this being like its own separate entity means that you know you're here to work. It's an investment into my future in the sport. I know my body and I know how 
important doing these little bits and bobs away from training have, have become in my programme. I do actually spend as much time doing you know, physio and rehab and injury prevention and you know, getting soft tissue massage and doing all those things. I spend as much time doing that as I do training these days. So it's, um, yeah, it's a massive part of trying to maintain being at the top of the sport.